In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how simple and easy to use XNURBS to create this bicycle seat model. This example also shows how to add the internal constraints and create a symmetric model with XNURBS. Let's get started. First of all, we need select the boundary curves. There are two overlap geometries here. We need to choose the surface edge because, to create a symmetric model, you need to specify a tangent continuity along the mirror line. So select the surface edge. Then specify a tangent continuity for this constraint. Now select the other curve as a boundary constraint. As you may notice that XNURBS automatically specifies the curve as a G0 continuity. Other continuity options are grayed out. This is because, for a standalone curve, it is only possible to specify a G0 continuity. For surfaces edges with one neighboring surface, you can select a G0, G1 or G2 continuity. This is the surface generated from the two boundary constraints inputted. To generate the desired shape, we need input internal constraints. Let's select the internal curves. The XNURBS preview disappears because we need to specify the curve as an internal curve by switching off the boundary option. Here, you may also notice there are noticeable gaps between the boundary and internal constraints. This avoids conflicting constraints, for example, the potential inconsistent G1 and G2 continuity in case you need to apply G1 or G2 to the boundary curves. The rules section of XNURBS manual discusses it in details. Now let's switch off the boundary option for this internal curve. Next we select other internal curves. In seconds we complete half of the bike seat surface. We now explain some of the sliders. First switch on the zebra view option. For the flatness slider, you normally should use these two positions when generating a trimmed surface. These positions typically generate good results for non-quad sided surfaces. If the generated surface is not the desired shape, you can then drag the slider to other positions. For the quality control slider, you normally should keep it at the leftmost position. For simple surfaces, the leftmost position will generally be the right setting. If the generated surface is not smooth enough, you can improve its quality by dragging it to the right. For this surface, we leave the quality control slider to this position. The XNURBS manual discusses these settings in details. Let's make a mirror to complete the whole bike seat surface and take a look at the zebra view. For this bike seat, XNURBS uses a single trimmed NURBS surface to complete this rapid concept design. Of course, if you want to generate a better surface, you can adjust the input curves and split the surface into multiple XNURB surfaces. That is all for now. Check our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.